Smith, J A I S O N S M I T H. What you see happen? Uh, basically, when I came up, car was submerged underwater. Three young men was down there helping her already, pushing the car up. When the car got up, uh, I helped get our child seat. Um, there was a baby in the back, mother in the front driving. Took the car over, got the little girl out, saw the CPR on her. Uh, some guys saw the CPR on her. I just, and I was helping with the CPR with the little girl, got up to the bank, went back down to help the mother, because the mother was not breathing or anything. We was just trying to help her to get her to the paramedics alive. So was the car on its side or was it? The car was totally submerged underwater, was it upside, upside down. down. Yes, sir. So was, it, was it buoyant enough for y'all to, to be able to maneuver it around? Is that how y'all? Yes, sir. Once you got it, it was upside down, but it, since it was in the water, it was a little easy to flip over. Three guys flipped it over, uh, got her out, uh, brought the little girl first to the bank because she was, you know, a little girl, so we got her cut off. They cut off the car, got her out the car seat, brought her to the bank, saw a CPR on her, got some water coming out. Uh, okay, she got a pulse, heard the sirens, brought her up to the dock, to the, to the bank here to put weight on the ambulance. Ambulance took over there, went back down, kept her mother out. Uh, still faint pulse, slightly, but uh, try to just help him out any way I can, paramedics. It just, it, seemed, it just seemed like forever. I mean, I, it probably was, was just in a few minutes, but it seemed like forever in a lifetime waiting for EMS to arrive. How many people responded down there with uh, down the hill? It was basically me and six other guys. One guy left before we got to talk to him, but he worked for Quest Diagnostic. He still had his work clothes on. And uh, he basically just uh, started to help start C take over CPR when one of the guys who had this CPR on the little girl uh, got to take over to keep CPR on her. How deep was the water? Uh, chest high. Go on me. I'm five foot ten, so the water came out right here. Shocked you to surprise you to, to drive up and see something like this happening? Well, sir, I, I'm down the street from my home, and I saw nobody was really going down but a couple of guys, and I saw somebody was in the water. I pulled over to the side right here, went down, uh, got my feet, everything wet, um, just trying to, you know, help out any way I could, because the last thing I want to do is go home and somebody perishes without me helping. And I just hope nobody did perish. But, but, but without the five or six of y'all going down there, nobody stayed those people instead of chance. Yes, sir. Before EMS arrived, it took them a while because of traffic and trying to get through traffic, but they got here as soon as they can. Uh, they took over as soon as they can. And, uh, you know, kind of, we just kind of stayed around down at the bottom to try to help out to make sure that we could just, they needed any extra help. It's real muddy, real slippery because of all the rain, and everybody was slipping and falling and trying to just stay afloat down there. When you, when you got down there, the baby was. In a car, baby was secured in a car seat. Yes, correctly. baby was in the car seat in the back seat, and just trying to. A young man named Zam helped to get her out. He's not even from here; he's from Arlington. And he was basically helping to get the little girl unstrapped because there was so much water and so much going on, and she was cut close and stuff, and getting hooked on the car seat. So when they finally got her out and got her to shore, and they went back for the mother. How long do you think they were submerged underwater before they got him upright? Oh. Uh, I, I can't. I, I, there's, there was just everything just happened so fast. Maybe a minute, maybe less than a minute, a minute and a half. It was not not that long, but you know, once we got, once the guys got down there, helped, we got her up. Um, I came down at night just in case we need to cut the car seat loose, but they got her in the front seat belt loose, but they got her loose. Uh, the mother was a large woman, so trying to get her out the seat was a little house, but they finally got her out. It took about uh, six to eight guys to get her pull, pull up on dock cause, and, and just try to start CPR on her while we pull up here with the little girl waiting on the ambulance. What's your name again? My name is Jason Smith. D D this is not for air, but no. case the station want to talk to you, no. your phone number we call you at? 713-562-4301. Thank you very much. I mean, the, 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 what the cops are telling us is what y'all did was give these give these people at least a chance. No, it was 
us. It was five. It was six of us. We yeah, don't know each five other. Six of it, um, it was six of us total. We don't know. We, nobody knows anybody. Yeah. We well, just saw somebody know. in trouble, in need. I have a three-year-old and a three-month-old. So if I was in the same situation, and like I said, but my wife was in the same situation, I, I could, I would want somebody to do the same. And like I said, I couldn't drive past here on my way home and not do anything about it and, you know, get home in the morning and see something happen and then I could have maybe possibly helped somebody to do because nobody was really going down there. Everybody was standing on the side and up here and right around here, but nobody was willing to go down up into the water and just try to help them out. All right, thanks, thanks for helping out. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, I'm rolling. You rolling? Yep. All right. Sergeant R.C. Gonzalez. Wait, first name your letter, first initials in your last name. R.C. G-O-N-C-A-L-E-S. Oh, yeah. We're at the 11,400 block of the East Freeway. Time of, occur time of occurrence? Uh, this occurred right about uh, 10, 15 or so. What happened here tonight? Uh, witnesses stated there was a vehicle that appeared as though they had missed their exit. They tried to exit off the freeway, uh, not at an exit. Person that was driving the vehicle lost control of the car, uh, couldn't stop. Subsequently, ended up in the bayou, uh, upside down. Uh, we have seen witnesses that ran down to help. You talk to them? Yes, I wasn't able to talk to them. I talked to one of the other the uh, witnesses that I did speak to. Told me that the uh, males went down into the water. I actually had turned the vehicle over and extracted the uh, adult female and appeared to be a two-year-old child. The child in a car seat, secured. Yes, uh, they had to extract the child out of the car seat. Uh, both of them transported to the uh, hospital. Yes, they were. They were transported both to the hospital. Condition at this point. Uh, we're not quite sure. They left here in critical condition. We're still not quite sure of their exact. Uh, the tragic accident at this point looks like this is the lady. It looks like she missed her exit and tried to make her own exit. Right. It looks. It appears as though she missed her exit and, and tried to exit the freeway, not in an exit. Uh, coming onto the grassy part of the uh, service road here, or prior to the service road. And it's really wet, so Matt just, just lost control since it was so wet and muddy in there. And couldn't stop uh, with all the mud and the water and all the recent rains that we've had. Anything else? Your name one more time. Uh, Sergeant R.C. Gonzalez, G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-S. Car battery. That piece buried in the ground right there. There's a car battery right here. 